Hello everybody, Zero One here, Donkey Stomper. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please take time to join our membership. Uh, check out our merch store, we'd love to have you. Now guys, some people are probably going to make fun of me for making this video or whatever. But, I'm making this video because I want to warn some people about these power supplies. And the reason why, I bought a case of them, I just didn't have time to fool with them. And I looked up the video... Actually, where I got miles off a of form, I got pictures of how to do it, and it's it can be done, okay? I mean, it's it's not that impossible, do. But guys, this iron won't do it. You gotta have a little bit of tip, and you gotta be able to solder. And I want you guys to know these average Joes that think they're gonna do this. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. If you can, more part to you. But I just want to warn you. I've been soldering since 1997, 1998. On radios and stuff. It looks even it looks easy on the video. I should have tried to solder through my camera. The average Joe can't do this, guys. This ain't just something for everybody. Because if you get too hot and burn that pad or burn this pad, and then you gotta go down in there and solder that chip and not on the same pad and not burn it. And the reason why I made this video is because I don't want ever Joe Blow out there on the internet on the radio to think that they can do this because there was a time that i couldn't even think about doing it you know and i just don't want everybody to think oh i can buy them supplies for a little nothing and do that modification and uh have me a power supply for nothing well you can but set that little bit too that's what i had to use you can do that guys but i just want you to know that what you're up against and uh, I've been seeing a lot of reports. A lot of these coming in DOA. These ain't coming in DOA, guys. What's happening is people's getting them and they can't do the modification or they get the board hunt and burn them up. Like I said, guys, I can't see good no more. I've worked on radios all my life. So I quit working on radios and stuff right here. And this is almost more than what I can do. So I just want you guys to know that because I don't want you to think it's all gravy and roses like it looks like out there. But, uh, I mean, it can be done. Don't get me wrong. It can be done. And a lot of people can do it. But just every Joe Blow can't. You better know how to solder. And you better have a good soldering iron and know what you're doing. Because I know I don't know nobody around here that can do it. Not do it, not mess it up. Every Joe Blow can't do this mod, guys. But before you buy a bunch of these power supplies, which I'm, pro I'm probably too late. I wish I'd checked it right off the bat. I've seen how fast they sold. I'm probably too late. Before regular Joe Blows buy 25 of these power supplies and decide they're going to do that mod to them, I want you to know what you're in for. Now, you're, uh, um, you could do that. You could just turn them on and do 12. If you can't solder, just turn them on and use 12 volts. That's what I do. If you can't solder really good, just you can make a jumper wire, turn them on, use them on 12 volts. But guys, I mean, I mean, I ain't trying to say it can't be done or you can't do it. I ain't trying to, uh, trying to, how do I say that? I'm not trying to downgrade nobody or nothing like that. Or, or you know, anybody in the radio community, if you can do it, great. But you better not burn it. You better have a good soldering tip. Be careful with that bar. We don't take one of these slip. I mean, I could have messed this up easy. And people might make fun of me or whatever, and if they do, that's fine. I could have messed this up real easy. And, th and that's what I want you guys to know. Because, I mean, I know everybody's bought a bunch of them, and I'm sure there's some people that ain't familiar with solder and just watched these videos and bought these and are really disappointed right now because they, they tried to do the mod and screwed it up. Because it just ain't for everybody. But these things, now the voltage check's good. It looks like it's going to work good now. Don't get me wrong. But it is, it does, it does require some technical ability. You got to be able to solder. You got to have the right arm, the right kind of solder, and a little bit of know-how. And some heat sharing. And I just want to warn you, I didn't want every Joe Blow that don't even work on radios or nothing that had never held a soldering iron think they could just grab it and do it from watching the videos. And I got some pictures if you need them or whatever of, of how to do it, some better pictures. But you should be able to see it pretty much. Let's see. It's down to that second pin on that chip. Let's see how close I can get to it. 
that's for the curl bar protection. And then I just put it through the board and caught it right here and come all the way back to the barbell. It's not a hard job. I mean, it's not a lot to it, but I mean, just, I can think of many days I couldn't have soldered this good than when I started. So just the average Joe is not gonna be able to solder that. But I just want you guys to know that, you know, I'm just trying to help you out guys. I'm not trying to dishearten nobody. If you got it and you don't try it, that's fine. If you're scared to do it and you bought a bunch of these power supplies, just go ahead and do the little jumper deal, one and three, and turn them on, and run them on 12.5 volts. Don't turn them up. Guys, I just did this try to help you. I didn't do this try to insult nobody or hurt no feelings, nothing like that. But I did want everybody to know it's not no gravy train job. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Uh, please take time to... Uh, join our youtube membership and uh we'd like to have you as a member and uh check out our merch store donkey stomper stuff and if you've got these untouched or whatever i don't really have time but i might help out a couple people and keep them from getting a bind i don't know i don't really want to do them i'm, I'm gonna do good to do all mine i really don't want to do it. it's aggravating but uh some guys some prop some other builders might see this video and make fun of me if i do uh more power to them i'm not the I'm not the solder amplifier god of the world. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Your friend Tim, 018 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Catch you later.